Joey Chitwood, good to see you. Nice uh, to be here. Appreciate Daytona, it. right around the corner, and you were rewarded with an exciting race last year, kind of a Cinderella winner. That's a lot of momentum to take into this year's race, is it not? You know, it really is, and not just that. Miami was the best championship race I've ever seen. So we come off Trevor Bain, this enthusiastic 20-year-old, a Cinderella story winning the Daytona 500, a championship in which Tony Stewart comes back, ties it, wins on the tiebreaker. So I've got a pretty big bar to jump over for the Daytona 500, but if there's any track that can do it, Daytona can. The subplot last year, the resurfacing, but the feedback, all positive, sounds really good. Tell me about some of the feedback that you got on that and the responses. You know, we spent $20 million to repave that track. Hadn't been done since the 70s. Big deal, very nervous. A tough project to complete from July to the actual event, but rave reviews. Fantastic racing, a record number of lead changes. As we roll into this year's event, the, the comments are all about the two-car tandem drafting and NASCAR changing the regulations, whether it's the size of the restrictor plate, the radiator, the rear spoiler, and what that can do to kind of bring back some of that old pack racing we remember. So last year it was asphalt, this year it's about drafting. So we've got some good storylines going into the event. Can I get you to go out on a limb and tell me who you think might finish? first there this year? Who's going to take the checkered flag there? I have to tell you, people always ask me, do you want someone to win? Would it help you if, if Dale Earnhardt Jr. won or Tony Stewart won? And at the end of the day, I ask for a close finish because I know at that point the fans will have enjoyed the event. It's tough for me to root for someone or say I want this person to win, but I know this. Last year, we went into overtime. We had the green-white checkers. At that point, I was ecstatic no matter who was going to win because we're giving fans some great competition. The fact that Trevor won is a bonus for me because it's this great storyline. But I think there's another goal for Daytona. You know, if we could do a great job generating an exciting event, we give some momentum to the next tracks along the season. So whether it's Phoenix or Vegas, if we can hit that bar pretty high, then the next tracks are going to enjoy the, the, the elements of that. So for us, that's what it's about. If I can get a great finish with great weather, it doesn't matter who wins. All right, here's wishing you that. Thank you, Joey Chitwood. Appreciate Thank you. It.